you don't know his name yet, you better learn it by this weekend. Jonathan Davenport, also known as Superman, is driving at Bristol Motor Speedway in the NASCAR Truck Series and the NASCAR Cup Series. He'll be driving in the Saturday night race for the Truck Series in the number 7 of Spire Motorsports, and then he'll be driving in number 13 for Colleg Racing in the NASCAR Cup Series on Sunday night's race. I recommend you get to know him a little bit more. They call him Superman for a reason. He started off by winning the Rookie of the Year for the Lucas Oil Light Models back in 2012 and evolved into many wins over the course of his career, winning the championship three times in 2015, 2018, and 2019. He has earned 69 wins over the course of his Lucas Oil Light Model career, 191 top fives, and 282 top tens, and that number will continue to climb after this video has come out. And this makes him arguably one of the greatest dirt late model drivers of all time just by Lucas Oil standards. Since 2004, Davenport has also competed in the World of Outlaw Late Model Series part-time, but his best points finish came back in 2011, finishing 16th. But he only ran 11 of the 34 races that year. Over the course of his World of Outlaw career, he's won over 15 races, had 48 top fives, and he has had 70 top 10 finishes in the course of his World of Outlaw career. In addition to these accolades, he has competed in the World 100, which is one of the most prestigious events in dirt light model racing. And not only has he competed in it many times, he has won it five times, once in 2015, again in 2017, 2019, 2021, and 2022. Now, back in 2013, Davenport actually attempted to race in the NASCAR Truck Series for the first time, not on dirt, but actually at Martinsville Speedway. He attempted to race in the number one truck for Make Motorsports, but would fail to qualify in that race. But now he is back with arguably a great shot to not only make the race, but win this weekend. He'll be in the number seven of Spire Motorsports, and while this truck hasn't showed up many times, they have showed up in the past year, and they have been able to see Victory Lane once already. Now to support of one of Davenport's biggest dirt sponsors, Nutrient Solutions, which is big in the agricultural world, and Davenport himself is a rancher in addition to uh, dirt racing, so it makes sense for him to be on with him. He'll be racing in the number seven Nutrient Solutions truck for Spire Motorsports on Saturday, and then he'll be racing number 13 Nutrient Solutions Chevrolet for Colleg Racing on Sunday night. I believe Davenport may give us the best chance to see a true dirt ringer come in and upset the entire NASCAR field. He could potentially even win the double. Now, I've seen Jonathan Davenport race in person already in my life at Tazewell Speedway. That is a one-third mile high-banked dirt oval, but these cars are definitely going to be a lot different than those dirt late models he's used to. They don't really drive like a late model. They drive more like a street stock, but I do believe that Davenport, what I've seen of him, has what it takes to potentially get it done this weekend. I'm going to be watching for Jonathan Davenport this weekend. I think he could potentially upset the NASCAR field this weekend. If he doesn't win the double, I think he could potentially get a win this weekend. Maybe the truck series is what I would say. Watch out for Jonathan Davenport. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. How do you think he's going to do in his NASCAR debut weekend? I'm Danny B. See you at Dirt Bristol. And I'm watching Davenport. I think he could steal the show. Take care and have a great day. Bye, guys. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching this video from Day to Be Talks. If you're new to my channel, make sure you leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so that you'll never miss another new video here on Danny B Talks. Until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye, guys.